Hey everyone, welcome back to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. I'm Bobby Sylvester, and today I've got my top five waiver wire pickups of week six. The list starts with Jameis Winston, quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, he wasn't especially impressive in the half that we did see before the bye, but he's coming off the bye into an incredible streamer matchup against the Atlanta Falcons, and typically I wouldn't advise spending fab to pick up a streaming quarterback because there's so many good ones, but this week there's really not. If you don't go with Winston, you might have to turn to Blake Bortles again against Dallas. That's not a very good situation to be in. We saw Ryan Fitzpatrick dominate with all of these receivers and tight ends that Tampa has. Jameis Winston was incredible in the preseason. He ended last year on fire. I don't think he's just a streamer against Atlanta. I think he could be your long-term answer at quarterback. For number two, we turn to his teammate, running back, Ronald Jones. Now, he's not officially the starter yet, Peyton Barber is, but he's been awful. Ronald Jones is going to take over this job before long, and it might even happen this week. We'll see. Jameis Winston was on the field in the second half, and they brought in Ronald Jones. They did the same thing in the preseason. I think that's what's going to happen here is that Ronald Jones is going to be on the field as the starting running back this week. I'm picking him now for two or three fab bucks before he costs me 40 next week when everyone realizes he's the starter. Sticking with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, let's go to their tight end, Cameron Brait, at number three. I already mentioned the streaming capability against Atlanta. I think that he has a phenomenal stream against Atlanta because when Cameron Bright was the starting tight end for them in seven games last year, he was the fantasy number four tight end. O.J. Howard's going to be out two or three more weeks, and in that time, they've got some great matchups. Cameron Bright is a must-start this week, next week, and the following week if O.J. Howard is still out. Because of that, I'd spend three to five fab bucks on him. Now, turning to number two, it's Alfred Morris filling in for Matt Breida. And Alfred Morris was already involved, but with Matt Breida out, they don't have anybody else on their roster. This is shaping up to be a 20-touch week for Alfred Morris, and maybe even longer if Matt Breida's MRI does not come back good on his ankle. Alfred Morris could eat in this offense that made Carlos Hyde a running back one last year, even with C.J. Beathard at quarterback. Alfred Morris is a similar type of running back. I think that he's going to be useful going forward. I would spend 15 fab bucks, and if we find out that Matt Breida is out for a lot longer, I'd go even up to 50 or 60 on him. Now, number one for me is Corey Clement. A lot of people are going to tell you it's going to be Wendell Smallwood taking over for Philadelphia now that Jay Ajayi is out for the season with a torn ACL. I think it's going to be Clement. Wendell Smallwood is more of your third down type of back with Darren Sproles out, and he's been absorbing that role, but with Ajayi out, Corey Clement is the natural guy to fill in. I think this is going to be a running back by committee type of thing, but we're probably looking at starting running back rest of the season. And because of that, I'd spend 30, maybe even 40 fab bucks to acquire Corey Clement. All right, guys, that's all the picks for this week. We're going to have another video next week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your football.